Life undercover at one of the UK's biggest food producers, a place where chicken that has fallen onto the factory floor is put back onto the production line, a place where date of kill labels are changed to extend the shelf life of meat, and a place where older meat and fresh meat are mixed together. If you eat chicken, you have almost certainly eaten chicken, produced by Two Sisters Food Group. The company processes six million chickens a week at its factories. Site D in the West Midlands supplies Tesco, Sainsbury's, Aldi, Lidl and Marks and & Spencer with their own label fresh chicken. Our undercover reporter got a job here and found evidence that suggests some Two Sisters chicken from this facility isn't as fresh as the supermarkets think. On one occasion, our reporter was taken to a cold store away from the production line and told to relabel crates full of chicken crowns. The new labels not only changed the date on which the chicken was killed, they also changed the code indicating where it was killed. So we're changing the date of kill on it? Is that what we're doing? The worker just smiles, but this appears to be a clear breach of food safety regulations. Regulations which are designed to protect consumers from unsafe meat and to ensure that meat is always traceable in the event of an outbreak of food poisoning. During our investigation, we spoke to more than 20 people who either work or have worked in Two Sisters' poultry business. Some of them agreed to be interviewed if we protected their identity. They told us they had witnessed meat being relabeled. I've done it lots of times when I was working in that area. My supervisor, he asked me to do it. Everyone knows. They know it's not the right way, but they're doing it because they want to clear their meat, because they want to achieve their targets. Do you think consumers can trust the use-by dates that they see on packets of chicken in the supermarket? No, because they put new labels with old meat. No one who works there buys from supermarkets because we know what we pack and we know it can be old chicken. Relabeling was not the only issue identified by our undercover reporter. Here, chicken that had fallen onto the factory floor is tossed back onto the production line. Here, it happens again. The meat could be contaminated and should be disposed of, but our reporter witnessed this happening several times. He also saw older meat being mixed with fresher meat. Supermarkets aim to get chicken onto the shelves as soon as possible after slaughter. Here, our reporter is told to empty five-day-old meat and three-day-old meat onto the fresh production line. Occasionally, supermarkets send chicken back to the factory. The rejected meat is not necessarily unsafe. We were told it is sometimes unpacked, mixed with the fresh meat and sent back out again. If you stop not selling, Sending back, open again, again. Oh, OK. I understand. Yeah. A second worker, whose identity we have protected, explained how this happens. Which supermarkets reject chicken most often? Mostly Sainsbury's. And what happens to all the chicken that Sainsbury's rejects? Repackage and send back to them again, to any supermarket. It depends when we reopen which production line is working. Sainsbury's, Tesco, any of them. Do you think supermarkets would be surprised by what's going on in the factory? Yeah, they, they should be surprised. You think they know what's going on? I don't think they know what is going on. Two Sisters employs people in quality assurance. They patrol the factory floor and are supposed to enforce food safety and quality standards. But those we have spoken to, past and present, have told us they frequently feel intimidated by production managers and that they fear being sent home if they intervene. One of them told us they felt their job was pointless. This factory supplies Tesco with its Willow Farms brand. The label on the supermarket packaging states the meat is produced exclusively for Tesco, but not on this production line. At the other end, our reporter filmed the order being topped up with drumsticks originally packaged for little. OK, I mean, there's something really seriously wrong. These we shared our findings with Professor Chris Elliott, a scientist who led the government's inquiry into the horsemeat scandal. Over the past three, four years, I have conducted many inspections of food businesses right across the UK. I have never seen one operate to such poor standards as your video evidence shows. People watching this will think, surely some rules, some regulation has been broken here. Has it? 
there's a lot of evidence to suggest that's the case. I think the, <coughs> the Food Standards Agency will, will take this very seriously. They will, they will uh, inspect, they will look at the premises and see if there are grounds to close the facility down. Two sisters declined our offer of an interview. In a statement, the company said it had not had time to conduct a thorough investigation and that it views the allegations extremely seriously. Two sisters added hygiene and food safety will always be the number one priority with the business and they remain at its very core. We are subject to multiple and frequent unannounced audits from the Food Standards Agency, British Retail Consortium, Red Tractor, independent auditors as well as our customers. By example, our facility in the West Midlands under investigation received nine audits, five unannounced in the months of July and August alone. The company said if on presentation of further evidence it comes to light, any verifiable transgressions have been made at any of our sites, we will leave no stone unturned in investigating and remedying the situation immediately. The Two Sisters promotional video depicts the company as it wishes to be seen. Happy staff, healthy chickens, satisfied customers. But our investigation raises serious questions about whether in the process of supplying the big retailers at one factory, corners are being cut. Joel Hills, ITV News.